Hi guys, welcome to this week's video. As you can tell by the title, we're going to be doing the Enchanted Fairy look that I've been promising for a very long time. I did it once before, I put it right up here, but then I was like, um, right after I did it, I went on AliExpress and ordered glitters. And I was like, I don't want to post that because I want to, you know, I don't want to rip you guys off with a shit fairy look. I thought it was okay, but I wasn't stoked. And then I went on to AliExpress. I'll try and find the link for you. Surely it's in like my orders. And I got all these glitters like 18 glitters or something, I don't know, for so cheap. And I was just like, ah, I'm gonna wait until they arrive. They took forever, but well worth the wait. I got so many different colors and just, oh, yee. Okay, so um, I wanted to do it on the day, obviously, because I don't want to dress up as a fairy again. Um, because, you know, I need to go down the road and I need to see people. I am, uh, I am an adult and I need to adult today. Um, and people don't really take you seriously when you've got glitter on your face. But, for you guys, I'll be reinventing the fairy look I did for Ava's birthday. I'll put a photo here um, to show you what I did. Really, really easy. I literally just put glitter here and here. Um, so I may try and amp it up. Oh, I put some glitter underneath my eyebrows as well. But I may try and amp it up for you guys today. And I thought, well, it was, you know, I was pretty stoked with it. Um, so I thought, and I haven't done a video for a while, I was like, fire it. Let's just, let's just do it. Um, also, Chris has taken over my recording room. Oh. annoying. Um, Chris has taken over my recording room so it's like half games room half um, beauty room so I'm actually in the middle of redoing my backdrop because um, I guess it's a little cliche you could say the lights and all I don't know I just I feel like a change and revamp things so anyway we're in the middle of doing that and yeah I actually need to go down the road to get some things today so I don't know how I'm gonna do this glitter thing I'm doing it for you guys. You better give this a like. Do it. I'm doing it for the team. So Ava's birthday was um, crazy busy. As you could probably expect, there was a lot more people come than I actually intended. You know how you sort of like over, over invite in the hopes that maybe um, if some people pull out, you'll still have quite a few people show up. Anyway, I did that and most of them showed up. So I was like, I mean, yay for everybody showing up. But I was like, shit, my house is not this big. Next time we'll probably do it in the garage or maybe hire a hall. I'm not too sure, but that was, it was pretty crazy busy and lots of people dressed up there was wings in the way everywhere trying to get through the doorways anyway I'm rambling so I couldn't film on the day I wanted to vlog everything but it was just like from the minute we got up bang 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 we got ready the night before also it's probably good that I'm doing this video after her birthday because I did want to talk about it and everything like that and I can insert photos as I get ready so probably like for the best that I didn't film on the day because I was just super busy my mind wasn't in it um I was just like, ah! Anyway, and it got the party started at one. It got to ten to one, and I was just like, la la la, because I didn't look at the time once. And um, Chris's parents showed up, and I was like, oh hey guys, expecting them to come early anyway. And I was like, oh you guys are early, sort of thing. And they were like, oh no, it's ten minutes, sort of thing. And I like looked at the time. I was like, oh my god, people are gonna start showing up soon. I was out in the garden cutting up. Um, we've got ivy that grows outside. It's a pain in the ass. Um, fair house and stuff and it looks really pretty to hang on things and I had this cool stick one that I put a photo of here I was out cutting off ivy to wrap around the one I was just like wah, wah, wah. luckily I had my mum there because mum I had everything sort of organized but mum obviously did the stuff that I wasn't thinking of because she's mummed for longer than me and um, she's just got it sorted anyway okay I'm gonna stop rambling now um, let's get sorted so I did my makeup per normal I've got nothing to tie my hair back with that off with my friend Abby took the photos for Ava's birthday I was gonna get to talking about that later but anyway she um she's like what makeup should I get right and I was like nah. I mean <laughs> makeup is a trial and error so basically buy it try it if you don't like it try again um, you've got to find one that suits your skin type, blah, 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 blah. Um, so she brought this W7. W7, as most of my subscribers will know, um, I love. I've got W7, this W7 Featherlight Foundation. It's affordable and I love it. But anyway, she got a shade too dark for her and she just, you know, didn't really like it. And she's just like, oh, here you go, because I do people's makeup um, on the side for a little bit of extra cash, whatever. Just It's kind of more of a hobby, if anything. Um, and she's like, here you go, this is surely, you, you can just have this. Um, because someone you know might need it. And I was just like, um, okay, free makeup, I'm not gonna say no. So um, this is 
W7 HD Foundation 12 Hour in the shade. This is sand beige, and I'm pretty sure this is sand beige. Yeah, I was like, perfect. Bloody spot on. I've also taken away my mirror that I used to have here, so I have to use this little handheldy one. So I just give it a couple squirts. So I give it a couple squirts and I just spread it around. So I'll just do my makeup as normal and I'll tell you about guys about day. Um, she got absolutely spoiled rotten, um, as you could probably guess, because I mean, most people are like, who has a party for a one year old? But it's like, I don't know, I wanted to celebrate the fact that we made it through a year of parenting because for those of you that don't know, Chris and I have only been together for what, two years now? Yeah, nine of those months were pregnant and then obviously, yeah, well three months we only really got to ourselves and then pregnancy hormones kicked in and crazy Livia arrived I don't know how he did it, but he did, so hats off to that guy. LA Girl Pro Conceal, my fave. Um, this is in porcelain. No, this is in natural, because it's the only one I could find. But I do prefer porcelain. Um, anyway, so it was kind of like more of a celebration. Like, Chris and I made it through not only, um, yeah, a year of parenting, I suppose. Not easy, obviously. Blend that in with my finger. I prefer using my finger, I find it wastes less product. So, oh yeah, obviously it was probably a wee bit over the top for some people, but those that know me know that I am over the top, um, and you only get to live life once, why not do it in fucking style, um, if you can, that's what I say. Don't downplay yourself because you worry what other people will think. Um, I think we actually got one comment of um, someone said to my dad, oh this is this is a little bit over the top, we never had this from my kids, and it's like, well, sorry, like, <laughs> I don't know, I don't really know what to say to that, but um, I'm not too worried. We had a bloody good time, I'm going to look back on those photos and go, I did my best, and um, yeah. I'm stoked that we extra up Ava's first birthday. Obviously, yeah, she's not going to remember it, but um, I am. <laughs> and she's going to look back on the photos and be like, damn, my first birthday was cool. And obviously, people, some people are like, how are you going to top that? Um, don't worry. I will. Don't believe me, just watch. Come on. Dun -dun -dun -dun. And foundation and concealer on. Now I'm going to set it with Rimmel Matte Perfection. Setting... Wow, it's silky loose face powder. And I'm just going to set that so it doesn't crease. Set down those areas. Oh, I love the smell of that. Look at that. I wanted to look absolutely flawless as a princess fairy, enchanted fairy would be flawless. Plus I knew I was going to have lots of photos, we were going to have lots of photos, so I just used my LA Colors um, contour kit, contour palette, and it's just got these, and I just mesh the two lightest ones and do the three. So I'll be popping photos up in this video as we go. So the dress I wore was a blue dress from Pagani, but I got it for $12 from Save Mart. So my fairy wings from the $2 shop. I'm contouring. Oh, stabbed myself in the eye. Oh my god, a glitter exploded. I knew this would happen. At least it's one I'm not gonna use. On this step, I might just add some banana powder. Right for my eyebrows, I just used the Chi Chi Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. Um, and then I got these epic brushes off, well, not this one, but I got this epic brushes, this brush set off um, AliExpress. I'll put a link down below as well. Um, and then just like this black handle with this little rose goldy thing, and I just love them. And this is my little spoolie. So I usually use disposable spoolies, but this is my favourite. And I just bent the end away bit, so it's like extra special. Brush them up, and i over. I'll insert some photos for you guys to look at while I do my eyebrow.
eyebrows done. So, um, if you enjoyed those photos and you live in New Zealand, Southland, whatever, um, my photographer was Abby Volp at Chaotic Kids Photography. She also has a Chaotic Kids Crafts and she makes amazing, like, I'll put some photos up of what she makes as well. She's just, like, the most creative person and she obviously has an eye for, uh, just an amazing ideas as well, like, um, you're at a birthday party. Obviously, I didn't think, oh, I'm not going to have time to take photos. And um, it's a fantastic idea to have a photographer there so that they can worry. They take the worry away from you while you entertain your guests and everything like that. They can take the photos and capture those moments um, of you as well instead of you just being behind the camera. So, oh, I'm so glad that she was there. So, highly, highly recommend. Um, oh, I forgot to highlight. I highlightly recommend um, Abby Volp if you are in Southland. Between like the presents and the cake sort of happening, she took photos and she also conversed with my guests and everything like that. And um, she just it was amazing. Like I wasn't worried about her like awkwardly sitting in the corner like or anything like that. She just like at one point I heard her talking about her kids and everything like that. She's like she's an interesting person, and it was just like oh, I don't need to worry about you. And that's what I like. So I'm highlighting a like funk because fairies are very highlighty. So using my Kali Bible, I just used her for my highlight as well. Um, I'm just going to be taking some neutral browns. This is this colour here. Can you see that? It's going to be my transition shade. Since I got this palette though guys, it's been my go-to for everything. I don't even look at the other ones anymore, unless I'm doing like a dramatic, dramatic thing that doesn't have um, these colours, but it's just... Mm. If you're going to take anything away from this video get today guys, um, my photographer, Abby Volp, at Chaotic Kids Photography, and uh, get the Kylie Bible palette. And with this darker little brown here, just put that on the outer. I just learnt the word extra. If you're wondering why I'm using it heaps, um, I was watching the breakfast show the other day, hashtag mum life y'all, um, and they were teaching the old presenters um, <laughs> today's slang, and one of them was basic, and I sort of knew that basic, like basic bitch, like blah blah, blah and extra, and it being extra is the opposite of being basic, so. It's, I, th I think it's like a compliment. Um, anyway, I'm getting a dark brown now. This one over here, my fave. And I'm just going to lightly darken that outer V. Okay, so it's not very well blended. I'll get to that in a minute. But just while we're on here, I'm just going to get that little dark brown colour again on a fluffy brush. Um, and just run it underneath my eye very, very lightly. And because I was rushing, I wanted to get ready so I could hurry up and help Mum. Mum was already ready by this stage. I'm just going to get another brush. Just blend that out a wee bit so it's not so harsh. Well, I think my cat's about to take a shit in the old garden. Oh. The stance. Yeah, okay. Have a wee sniff and cover it up. Fantastic. Because no one likes knowing they've stepped in shit. I just like to discover the smell. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, I did that, and then I just got my finger because I was in a rush, like I said, um, and I got this gold color here and sort of mixed it with this, and I just used my finger and rubbed it on my eyelid. Some little white here. Use my finger again and just put that in there. I don't know why I did <laughs> my jumbo, um. LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil in white and I rubbed it underneath my... just to make it look like I was more awake. I was very tired. We stayed up late making the cake. I don't know if you've seen the cake or not, but I'll show you again because it was awesome. I made it myself. Um, it was just pretty plain though. It was just a plain sponge. Um, anyway, mascara. This is just a $2 one. Uh, this is mascara volumizer from my... sorry. Very tacky. Um, also, I will be doing an AliExpress haul soon. But before I get around to that, I will introduce you to this brand here. I'll link it down below again. 
Um, and okay, some things on AliExpress are hit and miss, obviously. This is a hit. And this is Miss Rose Professional Makeup. Obviously, I don't know how professional it is, it's off AliExpress, but it has been my favourite go to lipstick for a since I got it, maybe two, three weeks ago. And this is the lipstick that I wore that day. Mm, that lash glue to go tacky. I'm gonna apply this, I don't know how, but. Mm. What colour is it in? I don't even know. It doesn't say. It can't be that professional. It doesn't say it's shade. But yeah, it doesn't have a shade. But I'll link the one I got. Bye. Okay, hopefully this is tacky enough. Oh god, I'm starting with the wrong eye. Oh, I start with this eye. Okay, I think that's the eyelashes. Obviously we'll wait for that glue to set. While I do that, I'm going to make my lips a bit bigger. Usually, I, I don't overdraw them. I've got no um, lip liner, but I just kind of go a wee bit over. Okay, um, so before I add the glitter, I will do my hair. So how I did my hair was pretty simple. I just curled it and added some texture spray. Um, and it actually turned out cooler than what I imagined. It turned out like wavier, like, um, but I was gonna like mess it up anyway. So the messier it was, the better because like enchanted fairy type thing. But I sprayed some VO5 and nourished my shine. Um, dazzling heat protectant spray. Also, I've got a video just dedicated to how I curl my hair, so that's basically what I do. I just tip my feet upside down. And kind of crunch it. So um, I went along and did my hair, as you can see, and I've got my dress on. Straps are <laughs> right. So I'm going to add the glitter now and just the finishing, finishing touches. So I just used eyelash adhesive glue. Oh my god, I can't get this here. Right. Basically, you want to find a brush that you are not going to regret ruining if it does get ruined. And I just got the eyelash adhesive glue. And I just painted it on like where the highlight would go. Like up the Let's see where the highlight would go. Right, and then I got this blue because it kind of went with my dress. As you can see, I've used the most of it. I just dabbed my brush in there and got as much as I could and then just the thick of it on the top there because I wanted it to look like it had faded down. Underneath my eyebrows, so got a little bit of glue on there, and sort of just yeah, use the glitter as like my highlight.
just left it like that, but I didn't. I put some glitter up on top. Sort of like, ooh. I don't know, like little. And then I got a whitey sort of glitter. Because I've got blue and white in my dress. And So that's what I did with the glitter. Like, it's not a lot, but I feel like less is better in this case. more of me hit subscribe the girl in the corner that's me and uh yeah i'll see you all next week bye fucking flip out of here bitches bye